Hello everyone, as I promised, here is the first tutorial in my series how to program an ESP board with a built-in display. In this part we will cover the basics, drawing, shapes and text, working with colors, installing libraries, setting up the board and more. We will use Arduino GFX library because it is simple and everything is defined in our code. No file editing needed. I will use this affordable WaveShare board, which has everything we need. Touch screen, GPIO pins and great price. I will leave affiliate link in the description, so feel free to check it out. If you find this video helpful, feel free to support my work. Links are below. My goal is to rule this galaxy and every penny helps. Let's get started. Okay, we can start. So, right now we are in my documents folder because Arduino IDE usually have Arduino folder inside my documents. And in this Arduino folder, we can find our sketches and our libraries folder. So, libraries are usually installed here. But problem is that we have many different boards and for each board you need different libraries. So what I am um, usually do is I have for each board I have separate folder. So for this board I will make new folder. I will call it, it tutorial board. And inside this board, tutorial board, I will make new folder which will be which will be libraries. And each library I install, it will be installed in this folder. Right now it is empty. Here I have empty sketch and I will show you how to install this board and, and all libraries using just Arduino IDE but first I need you I need to show you what I usually do when I buy new board first usually I need to visit manufacturer page and try to find as much information pin definitions examples uh, and other useful informations on their side. Our board is ESP32 S3 2 inch cheap board made by WaveShare. I chose this board because it is cheaper so more uh, people can participate in this tutorial. And here we have description, some images, but what we need is at the end of page this link v wikipedia waveshare wiki link and here you have many interesting many useful information how to install arduino id what version you need to have so higher than 3.0 libraries and demos. If you scroll to the bottom, at the bottom you have this link, demo link, and here you can find many examples and all our libraries. But for these tutorials we will not use their libraries, we will install libraries manually using Arduino IDE. So we made our folder and first we need to do make sure to choose our default sketch folder so i will go to file preferences and here i will choose sketchbook location i will choose this tutorial board this is folder i created for this tutorial and now i can go to okay now we need to make sure that we are having latest ESP32 core version 
so you will go to board manager you will write here ESP32 and you will make sure you have latest my version is 3.3.2 now we need to install libraries we will go here to library manager and for display we will need arduino gfx so we will install this library, GFX library for Arduino by um, Moon on our nation. And I will install a latest version. I will click install. Great. Now we will need include that library. And now we will need some pins and some object definitions and I will just copy paste them. So I will just paste them here. So these are some definitions I find in uh, those WaveShare demo folder or those examples. And I made them just simpler. We need to have communication bus which is connected to these pins in in this case if you are using some other board you will need to find your pins and this is our gfx object so these lines and this library is is for draw, drawing on our display we will need data about resolution horizontal resolution vertical resolution lcd backlight pin is on pin one and our rotation is at is rotation one and now i can start to write my hello world example first it is always good to add some serial begin function because we will use it later for debugging now i will initialize our screen using gfx begin i will use gfx Set, set rotation zero and GFX display on. Let's Paint all screen in black. Fill screen. Let's set text size. We will use size 2. We will set cursor or position of text 50 pixels from left and 50 
pixels from top and gfx print hello world I only forget to set text color which will be green and I only forgot to do one thing I didn't turn on backlight for that I will use pull suite mo modulation and I will use analog analog right LCD backlight to analog right to this pin which is pin 1 value 150 values can be from 0 to 255 255 is max max brightness zero is completely dead screen or black screen without brightness now we need to we are ready to upload our code but first in tools we need to choose esp32 board we need to choose esp32 s3 development module here we will turn this to enable so we can use our serial monitor or debugging flash size we can put to 60 me megabytes partition sh partition shame we can use sorry for my english also 16 megabytes so same like flash size and we will use OPPS RAM so this is whole setup you need to change you need to change this to enable this to 60 megabytes this to 60 megabytes and OPPS RAM and now we can connect our board choose our port and click to upload and now we will need to wait some time and as you can see our example is uploaded and it looks like this now we can save this example i will save this example because i will probably share not probably i will share it with you i will save it as example one example one but let's check our sketch library so in our sketch library which is tutorial board we have example one and we have libraries folder and as i said library that is installed is now in that library now we can make some other uh, primitive graphic objects for example gfx draw line first coordinate 50 from left from top we can i don't know 70 
and let's make a line that is uh, 100 pixel wide, so 200 and 150, 100 pl plus this 50 is 150, and we want straight line, so Y or from um, from top is still 70. So line always have two points. This is coordination of not coordination <laughs> coordinates of first point and these are coordinates of second point and now we just need color let's use red now we can gfx draw rectangle or rect and starting point will be 2100 and so this is coordinates of starting point and width of our rectangle is 50 height is 30 and let's choose blue color and we can draw a filled rectangle I will copy and paste this and use fill width orange color and we can use I don't know one hundred one hundred starting point same same size and we can draw some circle S point of center of circle will be at uh, 100 and 180 uh, radius I don't know 20 and color white now let's save this as example 2 and here is final result we have our text red line draw rectangle fill rectangle and white circle i will uh, i will put both examples in in description so feel free to check them out and you can use them for learning i hope you learn something in the next tutorial we will learn how to deal with touch input because this is touch screen if you are not my subscriber feel free to subscribe and if you want to support my work and uh, support making these long videos uh, Feel free to buy me coffee. There is also my Patreon link, YouTube thanks, YouTube members. Links are in the description. So feel free to check them out. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.